Hello everyone and welcome back to the module 2. In the last module we got started with Azure Web Apps and saw how you could create it manually and using Terraform which was like one of the infrastructure as a code way and wherein you could automate your entire Azure Web App creation. Now this video is going to be more about how you could just deploy your application on a uh, newly created Azure Web App. Um, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, We've already cloned a sample uh, Python web application. Uh, obviously, you could just deploy any of the web application, be it .NET, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, uh, Ruby, and starting HTML. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, deploy a Python Flask application from our local. Why from our local? Because whenever you start testing uh, an application stack or technology you first see how you could just how easy or difficult it is to deploy an application and hello world or wh whatever application onto the the tech stack and then you could always elevate yourself and uh, get started with the continuous integration delivery pipeline as well so i've already uh, cloned the repo um i'm gonna go into that folder and what I have is a basic Python Flask application, just importing a Flask module and then returning a Hello World program. And how do you do it? Uh, the first thing first, a uh, bunch of things you need to have. First one is you need got to have uh, Python. I already have a version of Python running, uh, not the latest one, but any Python version would work. I would also urge you to download Azure CLI. Azure CLI so that you're able to run uh, the Azure CLI commands from your local system. Uh, if you don't have it downloaded, uh, just uh, go ahead and type in download AZ CLI. I'm not going to show you cover that up in the pretty basic. Um, if you're using Brew, Mac, or uh, Linux operating system just like me, you could always just type in Brew uh, install Azure CLI. And that should be all. So once you've done that, you go to login using AZ login, and that's going to take you to the your Azure uh, authenticated page. Once you've done that, what next? Uh, that's pretty much all. Now we're ready to deploy our application. How do you do that? You type in Azure, and obviously you you into your working directory, root working directory. Uh, that's where my Python application is sitting. So what I'm going to do is just type in AZ and then web app, type in up, uh, SKU, SKU, this is the basic free tier SKU which we are using. Uh, if you just omit this, that's going to use a premium one and then the name of your app service. Uh, I'm going to give it name as uh, Sean App Services. If I hit or you could just use a, a company wide name as well, probably code red. Uh, app service and then hit enter and that's going to start creating uh, start firing a bunch of commands which gonna uh, create a resource group and then the app services plan as well so the az if the az command isn't recognized uh, make sure you have uh, az cli is installed the web app command uh, would be recognized as well once you have got the AZ CLI installed and then the app name could be any of your app name uh, the company whatever naming convention your company is following and the SQ is F1 which creates the web app on a free pricing tier zone uh, you just uh, can omit this one to use a premium tier which incurs at a, a hourly cost level uh, you could also use arguments certain arguments like location where the uh, this was by default selected as central US however you could just give it your location as well and yeah the, the command takes a few minutes to complete as you could see uh, just creating the app services at the moment with the name as code red app service and then it's gonna detect the Python app file and then the requirement text as well We're going to give it a few seconds before it is ready to yeah now it's just creating the 
app services which is done and then it is trying to locate the folder where all your code is sitting it is now preparing to deploy and build the content of the app uh, depending of on how heavy or small it is generally it takes few uh, seconds to minutes this is a pretty simple application there's nothing in it just a requirement.txt file which has got the flask version mentioned and then the Python application which has got nothing uh, pretty straightforward it's just importing a flask module and then returning an hello world text all right so the application deployment is done now you could see in the front of you that the it has given us an app, app url which we if you're going to hit on to this particular url uh, it's going to take us to the hello world uh, text give given us the hello world text and uh, that's the application which we have created code red app services obviously it's coming up with the um, azure domain name at the moment appended with azure website.net but you could always customize it with your own dns and that's what we're going to do in our upcoming um, videos as well and bunch of other information uh, like the name of the app services we've given the name of the os resource group service from uh, sq which was free and the service path and the version which was created all right that was easy how it is to create um, your app services now let's suppose you wanted to make some changes on your code uh, maybe hello world maybe just edit a test for now by code red and how do you make the changes and deploy it again it's pretty simple again just type in azure web app and then the up command and the name of your app web app is code red app service and if you hit enter it's gonna pick up the same application again uh, which is recognize that okay it's already there and I'm going to deploy the changed file again and within within a few seconds it's gonna deploy your application again all right now the application is deployed again with the changes if you hit the URL you would see that the text has been now changed from hello world to hello world by code red and this easy it was uh, you just type make changes here to the your libraries code whatever you want to do and then just type in azure az web app up and then the name of your app services that was easy uh, that easy it was about how you could just uh, create your create and deploy your application from the local system uh, stay tuned um we're gonna be showing you how you could just deploy using because every time you're not going to deploy your application manually that's not the way we do it nowadays it's it's all about continuous integration and delivery and we're going to look at the ways and the best practices about the deployment how you could just leverage azure web apps uh, by default features to deploy your application using the ci cd means thank you